Few artists in art history have achieved the renown of Leonardo da Vinci. Emblematic of the Renaissance man, Leonardo pursued knowledge across the expanding fields of humanities and sciences. As a key figure in the Italian High Renaissance, alongside Michelangelo and Raphael, Leonardo is celebrated for his iconic paintings and his notebooks and sketches, showcasing him as the era's preeminent polymath. Leonardo's relentless quest for knowledge allowed him to excel in diverse areas within the humanities and sciences, earning him the greatest acclaim as a painter. His renowned works, such as the mysterious Mona Lisa, the sacred The Last Supper, and the geometrically precise Vitruvian Man, are among the most recognized artworks globally. These masterpieces underscore his unparalleled status in art history. Leonardo advanced past the naturalistic styles of early Renaissance masters through his extraordinary attention to detail and innovative techniques. His most significant contribution was the sfumato technique, which seamlessly blended colors to soften edges and create lifelike effects. This technique significantly influenced the dawn of the High Renaissance. Leonardo's notebook brim with ideas and inventions that anticipated modern advancements such as the parachute, helicopter, and tank. These notebooks, filled with scientific diagrams, studies of anatomy and botany, and painting philosophies, amaze scholars with the breadth of Leonardo's expertise and contributions across various fields. In architecture, Leonardo's ingenuity shown through ambitious projects like the design of a 32-mile canal linking Milan with Lake Como. He is also credited with the innovative double helix staircase design, which combines aesthetic beauty with practical functionality. Leonardo's architectural principles have influenced generations, cementing his legacy as a visionary across multiple disciplines. Painted in his early 20s, Ginevra da Benci stands as one of Leonardo da Vinci's initial forays into portraiture, showcasing his innovative departure from the traditional half-face profile to a more revealing three-quarter pose. This method offered a more comprehensive view of the subject's face, emphasizing their personality over their societal rank, a humanistic approach that would come to define his later works including the Mona Lisa. Leonardo is credited as the first Italian artist to adopt this pose, setting a precedent for high Renaissance portraiture. Evidence suggests Leonardo may have used his fingers to blend the paint on Ginevra's skin, a technique that added a lifelike quality to her complexion. A contemporary of Leonardo remarked on the painting's realism, saying it appeared more like Ginevra herself than a mere portrait. In this work, Leonardo da Vinci offers a depiction of the Madonna with the infant Christ and John the Baptist, alongside the Archangel Gabriel, echoing the Renaissance era's shift towards naturalism in religious art. Leonardo portrays these biblical figures in a setting that merges divine mystique with earthly realism. The background, a blend of stark rock formations and tranquil waters, introduces a dreamlike atmosphere that bridges the celestial with the tangible. Leonardo employs a pyramidal composition, a hallmark of high Renaissance art, which, along with his mastery of anatomy and movement, imbues the scene with a lifelike dynamism. The interaction among the figures, through their gestures and gazes, introduces a narrative vibrancy that was groundbreaking for its time. The use of sfumato, a technique that softens colors and edges into a haze, enhances the painting's emotional intensity and depth, a testament to Leonardo's skill in creating realistic spaces. Additionally, this piece stands as an early example of oil paint use in Italy, a medium that allowed Leonardo unparalleled precision 
in capturing the nuanced details of his subjects. Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan, commissioned this portrait from Leonardo da Vinci, which features Sforza's 16-year-old mistress, Cecilia Gallerani. Gallerani looks to the right, seemingly distracted by something outside the frame, exhibiting a maturity and self-awareness remarkable for her age. Her subtle smile conveys confidence in her influential court role and her awareness of her beauty. In the portrait, she's holding an ermine, a symbol of purity and a nod to Sforza's heraldic emblem, suggesting her loyalty to the Duke. Leonardo da Vinci's Vitruvian Man stands as a monumental achievement in the exploration of human proportions drawing inspiration from the ancient Roman architect Vitruvius's treatise, De Architecture. Vitruvius posited that a well-proportioned human body should serve as the blueprint for classical architecture, emphasizing the importance of symmetry and balance. Leonardo, leveraging Vitruvius's principles, embarked on his own anatomical studies, significantly advancing the field by refining over half of Vitruvius's original calculations. This pursuit not only underscored the Renaissance's fascination with the harmony between the human form and the divine, but also influenced architectural design, advocating for a balanced blend of earthly and divine elements in sacred spaces and imposing grandeur in palatial residences. The Vitruvian man encapsulates the essence of Renaissance humanism, positioning man at the nexus between nature and the divine, symbolized by the square, earthly, and the circle divine. When studying the intricacies of Renaissance masterpieces, one cannot overlook Leonardo da Vinci's monumental work, The Last Supper, commissioned by Ludovico Sforza, the Duke of Milan. This painting, adorning the walls of the convent of Santa Maria della Brasi's dining hall, encapsulates a pivotal moment in Christian narrative, the eve of Jesus' crucifixion, focusing on the immediate aftermath of Jesus' revelation of an impending betrayal by one among his disciples. Leonardo's choice of oil-based paints, diverging from the traditional water-based frescoes, was motivated by his desire to achieve the delicate gradations of light and shadow characteristic of his fumato technique. However, this decision had long-term consequences for the preservation of the painting. The combination of oil paint and plaster, compounded by environmental factors like humidity and smoke from the kitchen, initiated a deterioration process that began even before Leonardo's death. Despite extensive restoration efforts, culminating in a significant project completed in 1999, only remnants of Leonardo's original vision remain. Therefore, for the remainder of this presentation, we will use another version painted by one of Leonardo's students, Gian Pietrino, which has been better preserved. Leonardo's rendition of The Last Supper breaks away from traditional depictions by presenting a dynamic tableau of emotional intensity and complexity. Each apostle is captured in a distinct state of shock and disbelief, with Judas, the betrayer, positioned in the shadows, subtly isolated from the group. Leonardo's methodical choice to model Judas after a real criminal adds a layer of authenticity and depth to the portrayal. At the composition's heart is Jesus, embodying calm amidst the storm of emotions, 
his gestures towards the bread and wine foreshadowing the Eucharist, against the backdrop of an idyllic landscape that may symbolize heavenly paradise. The inclusion of three windows behind him subtly introduces the concept of the Holy Trinity, weaving theological symbolism into the spatial arrangement. A pioneering aspect of Leonardo's approach is his use of one-point perspective, with Jesus serving as the focal point from which all perspective lines emanate. This technique not only imbues the scene with a profound sense of depth, but also integrates the painting with its architectural setting, creating an illusion of continuity between the convent's dining hall and the depicted scene. One interesting aspect of this painting is the dramatic departure Leonardo made from conventional representations. Emphasizing the vibrancy and drama Leonardo infused into this scriptural episode, a stark contrast to the more static and orderly renditions of the past. Today, the Last Supper is preserved under stringent conditions in a temperature-controlled environment, with visitor access severely restricted to minimize further degradation. This conservation strategy underscores the painting's fragility and the ongoing challenges in safeguarding our cultural heritage. As we reflect on The Last Supper, we are reminded of Leonardo's unparalleled ability to convey complex human emotions and theological depth, his innovative artistic techniques, and the enduring struggle to preserve the legacy of the Renaissance's luminous minds. This early sketch depicts the Virgin Mary seated beside her mother, Saint Anne, cradling the infant Jesus, with a young Saint John the Baptist observing them. Mary looks tenderly at Jesus, who gestures towards the sky, blessing those below. The artwork is notably large, composed of eight sheets of paper joined together. Known as the Burlington House Cartoon, it's believed to be a preparatory sketch for a potential painting that was either never completed or has been lost. Leonardo often employed such cartoons as outlines for his paintings, transferring them onto the final surface with a pin to guide his painting. The exceptional condition of this sketch suggests it was never used for this purpose. The drawing showcases Leonardo's relentless pursuit of excellence and his mastery of anatomy, evident in the lifelike postures and interactions of the figures. It captures a moment of genuine affection among the subjects centered around the Christ child. The level of detail in this preparatory work highlights Leonardo's meticulous process in art creation. Leonardo's cartoons are celebrated for their technical brilliance, rivaling the esteem of his completed works. They were widely acclaimed, displayed in royal courts and public exhibitions during his lifetime and beyond. It is believed that after his capture of Milan in 1499, King Louis XVII of France commissioned the painting Salvatore Mundi, which portrays Jesus as the saviour of the world and ruler of the universe. In this portrayal, Jesus is depicted giving a divine blessing with his right hand, while his left hand holds a transparent orb symbolising the heavens. This portrait is notable for presenting Christ in a humanistic manner, dressed in the fashion of the Renaissance period, and making direct eye contact with the viewer, a significant deviation from the traditional full-length portrayals of the era. This approach imbues the painting with a profound sense of intimacy. Leonardo's expert techniques are evident in the painting's execution, from the soft, inviting gaze achieved through sfumato to the expressive emotion and anatomical precision of Jesus' face. Despite its humanistic presentation, Christ is still depicted as a majestic figure, 
emerging from darkness into a light that appears to radiate from his being, reinforcing his status as a divine illuminator. For a long period, Salvator Mundi's whereabouts were unknown, disappearing from records in 1763 and not reappearing until 1900 when Sir Charles Robinson acquired it, mistakenly attributing it to Bernardino Luini. The painting resurfaced in the art market at a 1958 Sotheby's auction in London, selling for just £45. After sustaining significant damage, it was purchased by an American auction house in 2005 and subsequently underwent thorough restoration. It was only in the early 2000s that the painting was authenticated as a genuine work of Leonardo. In 2017, Salvatore Mundi set a new record for the highest price ever paid for an artwork at auction, selling for $450 million at Christie's in New York. The Mona Lisa, known in Italian as La Gioconda, is universally acclaimed as one of the most iconic and enigmatic masterpieces in the history of art. Attributed to the genius of Leonardo da Vinci, this half-length portrait is believed to depict Lisa Gherardini, the wife of Florentine merchant Francesco del Gioconda. Its placement in the Louvre Museum in Paris, behind several inches of bulletproof glass, attests to its unparalleled fame and the deep fascination it continues to inspire worldwide. Leonardo's revolutionary approach to portraiture is evident in his depiction of the Mona Lisa. Unlike other portraits from the Renaissance era that focused on external appearances, Leonardo sought to capture the essence of the subject's soul. This intent is most palpable in the subject's enigmatic smile, which art historian Gombrich highlights for its ambiguous and ever-changing nature to the observer, a result of Leonardo's masterful use of the sfumato technique. This method, characterized by the soft, smoky contours that blend the edges of the mouth and eyes, imbues the portrait with a serene calmness and an air of mystery that has captivated viewers for centuries. The background of the painting, often debated, is thought to be a figment of Leonardo's imagination, symbolizing perhaps an entrance into the subject's dreamlike state. The painting features intricate details, such as the embroidered pattern of loops and knots on the dress, the exquisite modeling of the hands, and the somber color scheme that contrasts sharply with the styles of Leonardo's contemporaries. Notably, the portrait includes a rocky landscape a motif Leonardo frequently explored, as seen in his other masterpiece, The Virgin of the Rocks. This landscape contributes to the illusion of movement and life that the painting exudes. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Mona Lisa is its complex and seemingly impossible scenery. Observers note two distinct landscapes in the background, with disparate viewpoints that should not logically connect a deliberate choice that adds to the painting's enigmatic quality. Additionally, the lack of eyebrows on the Mona Lisa has sparked speculation, with the most accepted explanation being that they were lost due to overzealous cleaning in the past. Leonardo's depiction of the Mona Lisa's eyes as windows of the soul and his careful attention to the anatomy and expression hint at a deeper understanding of human nature and beauty. The painting's illusion of a smile that seems about to broaden is attributed to the visual interplay between the contrasting landscapes, creating a flicker at the corners of the mouth that mesmerizes viewers. The relaxed and informal pose of the Mona Lisa, along with the detailed rendering of her attire and the ambient elements, showcases Leonardo's meticulous study and his fascination with patterns and the natural world. The painting was likely worked on over an extended period, reflecting a transition in Leonardo's style from the crisp outlines of the sleeves
to the softer drapery over the shoulders. The Mona Lisa has left an indelible mark on the world, influencing artists such as Raphael and captivating writers, musicians and creators across centuries. The portrait has permeated popular and commercial culture, becoming a symbol of endless fascination and speculation. Ultimately, the Mona Lisa is more than just a portrait. It is a reflection of Leonardo da Vinci's quest for perfection and his profound insights into human psychology and the natural world. Its enduring mystery and beauty continue to intrigue and inspire, making it a timeless testament to the genius of Leonardo and the enduring power of art to captivate the human imagination. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. Your support helps me continue creating more content like this. Thank you.